So there's a new paradigm is needed to be able to optimize uh, reimbursements and help facilities not only survive but prosper. We have to change our way of thinking. There is no way for us to be able to utilize this service without having a different thought process and a different way to manage our revenue cycle management, our internal operations, and our client care. They are all intertwined. Though they, they weren't before, they are now. Um, one of the major ones that I see coming up, and somebody spoke to this yesterday, um, a, a, a lab spoke to this yesterday, are the, UR, the UA changes and billing for UAs. There are a lot of policy maxes on those UAs that are outstanding now with AR. There are a lot of other issues. I, I think it's really important to know because it's the major question I get when I finish speaking. How, how can I do UAs? How many times should I do it? Whenever it's medically necessary. And let me tell you what that means. A clinical person has to identify the medical necessity for it. What is the reason? Did you find out that somebody else in their halfway room used last night, and so now you're suspicious of them? Were they you know, exhibiting signs of slumping over, slouching over in groups? What is the reason? The doctor then has to write the order for that. Upon return of the, uh, first of all, then you need to use a cup first. You want to screen that. Because if it's, uh, if what you think it is that they've used does not pop on the cup, you cannot just send it for confirmation for anything else. That's not the way it works anymore. You need to be very specific as to what you're testing them for and why. And once that comes back in, the doctor no longer can just sign and say, I reviewed it. The doctor has to correlate with the clinical team to say, I've reviewed this, and as a result, uh, as a result of the findings, this is how this is going to impact their clinical treatment. So maybe they didn't use it all, it came back completely negative, and we say that we continue treatment as necessary. But maybe there was a, you know, a, it came back positive for something, and maybe it's that we need to then change the intervention. Insurances look at your medical records to see what happened with that lab, and how did that impact your master treatment plan, your treatment team meetings, and how that's changed your intervention. If you did not change your intervention to match the results, they will deny your claim.